Hey guys, we're going to be doing an implant crown today uh, using Ceric. We're using uh, an Emax block and then we're going to use a tie base from Dent Supply Serona. We're also using a, uh, a scan post from Dent Supply Serona and a scan body. So I'm just going to run through those uh, pieces that we have. So this is the Emax block. They're a little bit different. I always get the 16s because uh, the 14s sometimes are too small. Uh, and then they, they're blocks that already have a hole uh, kind of pre-drilled in them. So that's what you'll be using. The other thing we'll be using is the, the tie base to take the, the scan. When you have the tie base, you're going to put a scan body right on top. This is how uh, the CEREC software kind of reads it, so it just goes right on top of there. If it's too, um, if it's too low and you can't see the, uh, the scan body, then that's where scan posts come into place. So this is a scan post for the same tie base, and uh, it's got the same top, but you can see it's a little bit longer. It's kind of elevated, uh, opposed to this one. So then you still put the scan body on top so that you can scan it. But like I said, sometimes you don't need to use this so you can save a little bit of cash and then not end up using that at all. You can just return it and just use this. All right guys, so once you get to this screen, you're gonna uh, select an implant, uh, screw retained crown. Uh, we're gonna do biogeneric individual. That's just the way I like to do it. Um, and then we're gonna select Emacs. And then uh, under the tie base, you're just gonna select the appropriate one, which in this case is gonna be a BioHorizons uh, BH45L. And we're actually going to try and use that as the scan uh, body type. Uh, if if it doesn't fit in there, then we're just going to change it to scan post. But like I said, I'm going to try and make it work with the uh, with the tie base, and then that way we can save a little bit of money. Okay. Alright, so this is the this is the scan, or I'm sorry, this is the tie base. So the crown will actually be attached to this. All we got to do is just kind of get it in the spot. It's always kind of tricky to get on, but you just got to get that hex in there. Once the hex is in, and this one's going to work just fine. So the screw's already in there. We're just going to tighten it up. Note is that there's a little notch right in there. You can see that. Just kind of pointing at that with my explorer's a notch. So this is the scan body, what we're talking about. And like I said, there's a, a notch right on there. See the notch right there? We have to line that notch up with this notch right there. It doesn't matter the orientation of that notch. So I'm just gonna put it right in there. So it looks like it's right here. And then we're just gonna push it in. It should clip right in. So that one's down all the way. So now you have uh, that in there. So now we're ready to scan. Stop it. All right, so we just uh, took a scan of the lower. I'm taking the bite. I took it with uh, with a scan body in there. It, sometimes you can't do that. Just... All right, so then you just take everything off, put the healing abutment on. Okay, so this is just the upper scan. We got the upper scan body. Now we just want it without anything. All I want to do is get the upper jaw without the healing abutment. So you're trying to kind of capture the tissue. Okay, so now we have the upper body. On the upper jaw, we have the scan body, we have a buckle bite, and then we have the lower jaw. Okay, so this is the proposal you get back. I don't like to do it like this. I always like to use the gingival mask. So you click that button, and then now it'll use the, the gingiva that's there. So I'm just going to outline where I want that emergence profile to be, which I think is going to be kind of a little bit higher up than that. I'm going to go kind of around here, 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 here. Kind of fixes itself around there so it'll kind of push that tissue down a little bit so it's kind of a good spot um i like it to kind of go up a little bit higher over here so i'm going to maybe go a little bit higher that's what that looks like it's just kind of right at that that crest of that tissue um and it'll it'll kind of end up pushing this tissue a little bit uh, that's okay all of our implant crowns do that so that's normal so we'll go ahead and uh, kind of move forward from there all right, and then you get a proposal you just design like you always do. So this is all we did is just design this crown there, um, just like you always do. And I just kind of smoothed out all these edges down right in there, made sure that I didn't have any of that baby blue. Uh, so you have that thickness, and that's it. And this is the look of uh, restoration in the block. All right, so this is uh, post mill. Uh, it's all kind of done there. And now we can just trim off that uh, sprue. 
So we'll trim that off next. So at this point, I like to kind of test fit a little bit. You'll see a little notch in there. So I'll grab the tie base. I'll line up the, the little notch. You can see the notch right there. And then just uh, line it up the, the notch on the crown. And there it goes. It kind of set all the way there. So you can see that. So that's it all be cemented. So I just want to make sure that that looks good. Uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, just take this off. Uh, stain and glaze just like I always do. Now we're just glazing. So there it is out of the out of the oven. All right, so we just have the crown and we have the tie base. We have to cement the two, the two together. But first, uh, the first step is to uh, etch the, the tie base. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the end of a um, of the tip for a composite and we're gonna stick it right at the end so that you don't get that area because you only want to get this area uh, etched. We're just gonna sandblast this. So you can see it's all sandblasted on there, but you see, and it's all dull, but then the inside's still shiny. Okay, so now we just want to um, use some Monobond Plus. I'm just going to use a little bit here. There we go. Just get a drop of that. And then we're just going to scrub the tie base. This is a minute. So 60 seconds that we're going to be scrubbing this. Okay, so next we're just going to etch uh, the inside of the Emacs where we're going to bond the, the tie base to. So there it is. Just get on a little micro brush and then just kind of scrub there and we're going to scrub for uh, 20 seconds. And that's what we use there. Ceramic etching gel. So now we're going to mono bond the inside of the etch. So we got some more of the same stuff that we put on the tie base and now we want to get it on the inside of the Emacs. And we're going to scrub 60 seconds again. I have to mark the notch on, on this because it's there and it's going to get covered so you want to mark it here with a sharpie so that you can line it up easily. A little notch. So you're just lining those up. So when you grab the tie base, you're gonna see that line there, and you're gonna see that line there. And basically all you gotta do is line it up, that way it goes right in. All right, so we're just gonna add some multi-link hybrid cement to this. It's an Ivoclar product, self-curing. We're just gonna get that all on the tie base. And I'm using a stirring straw from Costco to hold the tie base. There, so that went in. You don't get rid of any of that excess right now. You just hold it down. And you're gonna hold it down like that uh, for two to three minutes. Don't remove any excess. All right, now that you've uh, cemented this for Three, two to three minutes. Now you can remove all this like little excess uh, cement that you got here. That's all I'm getting. And you can polish this off too with like uh, with polishing burrs and stuff like that. But I just like to get the first little layer off like this. All right. So then after you got it all cleaned off, then just go ahead and put some uh, glycerin over the top of it, uh, just to create an oxygen oxygen inhibited layer. And this has to sit uh, at least uh, seven minutes before you can rinse it off. We're using liquid strip from Ivoclar. And that's it. There's your crown. All put together.